Poultry farming is a very popular agricultural venture among small-scale farmers in the country. Join us today as we find out how one young man is using technology to solve or reduce some of these risks using a smart brooder. It is up to you to assess the situation and make the right management decisions to give your chicks the best start possible. This stage influences the future of the flock performance in a big way. The objective is to minimize stress on the chicks so that the majority of the energy is directed towards growth and development. Some of the requirements of a good brooder include Proper bedding material or litter. The main purpose of bedding material is to absorb moisture. Broilers retain approximately 20% of the water they consume and the other 80% is excreted or expired into the house environment. Feeds and water. It is important that chicks find feed and water in the first 48 hours. In order to reduce feed wastage, the feeder system is often operated manually as long as the supplemental feeders are being used. Lighting. Bird activity is directly correlated with light intensity. During the first three days, efforts should be made to encourage chick activity so that they can search out and learn where food, water and heat sources are located. Temperature. Chicks cannot regulate their body temperature at hatch and are dependent on the house and floor temperature. Radiant brooders work well for heating broiler houses as the majority of the heat is directed to the floor. Ventilation. The purpose of minimum ventilation during the brooding period is to control moisture and air quality. Whether the house is using fresh shavings or used litter, the house has to be ventilated from day one. This is where George Chege, the chief engineer at Arinifu Technologies, got his inspiration to develop a smart brooder technology after experiencing huge losses when he tried a hand in poultry farming. So RNF Technologies is a Nairobi-based tech company and we have a um, product called Smart Brooder which is basically a digital mother hen for poultry farmers. The inspiration behind it was the difficulty farmers go, chicken farmers go through in brooding their chicks. The excellent that you find most of them will shy away from keeping daily chicks and would rather spend way more money buying um, two-month-old chicks. And the main reason behind this is because of uh, the uneven heating of charcoal. So charcoal has this tendency of dying out over time. So if you are to place it at 10 p.m. in the evening, uh, be sure at around 4 or 5 a.m. when it's coldest, the charcoal, the intensity of heat will have reduced. So this is basically a solution to um, solve the charcoal issue when it comes to breathing. While in campus, we tried um, to do broiler farming as a way of simply supplementing our income. So we are three friends, took our first 200 chicks, put them in the farm. Um, within the six weeks period, what we experienced was that we lost 70, 70 chicks. We ended up making a loss of around 10, 15,000 shillings. Again, so we had projected of around 15,000 shillings. So, we realized that we were not the only ones doing this. And we were actually um, three people who are um, trying, who are actually working in the farm at the time. So imagine if you're by yourself, it requires you to be really constant. You can't have, let's say, shifts. So this one is waking up maybe at three, this one wakes up at six. So it, it becomes a very tedious process and a very unscientific scientific problem. So being the, um, being science, science people, engineering handy kind of people, um, there must have been a solution for this. But once you check the solution, the solutions out there cost anywhere from between 150,000 shillings all the way to 500,000 shillings. And that's without um, the shipping cost to Kenya, without the expertise. So you'll bring in a very expensive controller and you can't actually run it. So where we came in was that we were um, supported by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers who gave us the engineering expertise and with our background knowledge in agriculture, in chicken mainly, we were able to come with a solution which we call Smart Brooder, which essentially was meant from the beginning to be a digital mother hen. This revolutionary product may seem simple, 
but works with precise efficiency, reducing the stress associated with rearing chicks during the first week of their life. Shege demonstrates in detail how it functions. Smart breeders are very simple device. It's meant to be used by the youngest, most tech-savvy person to the oldest person, maybe most likely a grandmother. So it has the least settings ever. So how it works is that once you bring in a new batch of chicks, there is this button here. You press it inside, and after a few seconds, it returns to you a message telling you that you brought in a new batch of chicks. So this is important because you want to start monitoring from day one. So once it co configures itself to day one, it knows what they require day one. So if it's, let's say, a broiler bird, it will require heating maybe for between 14 to 21 days. A layer bird will require around 21, 28 days. So it's able to first, be able to first set it. Let's say if you're doing broiler, you set it to broiler. So once it knows that, it will now come to, it will pick the data from the sensors. The black sensor there is a temperature sensor. This white sensor here is a humidity sensor. So once all the information is sent inside, there's a computer chip. So the computer chip is one that houses the program. It's the one that is, knows um, what they require at that specific age. And it's the one that will now tell the device to turn on, to turn off the heat source, let's say, to, to lower, um, to turn on or to turn off the fans for those who want to go to that extra level, for the large scale farmers. And the system is able to communicate through SMS. So you see there is no screen or anything. So it's meant to free the farmer, to free the farmer from having to spend most of his time inside here, to be able to go do work outside there and have all the information sent on SMS. So wherever you are, you'll have updates in real time. So as things are happening, it will tell you. If the humidity is too high, it will tell you at that point, hey, now you need to either open your curtains a bit to allow the moisture to flow or to turn your sawdust or to actually even add sawdust. At that level, you should be able to add sawdust so that the litter becomes very good and comfortable for the chicks. And um, it will also tell you when the heaters are going on and off so that as the farmer, you don't have to be worrying, are they off, are they on? So it's able to tell you all these kinds of things. And as an added advantage, the farmer is able to receive updates on the vaccine programs. Let's say if you're doing broilers, um, on day six, you need to provide this and this vaccine. So the same is able to just remind you. In case you forgot, tomorrow you need to be administering this vaccine. This technology assures the farmer of reduced mortality rate of chicks of up to 98% rate during the brooding period, reduces feed intake since chicks tend to feed more if temperatures are below the required levels. There is increasing growth and maturity rate of the chicks, real-time SMS updates thus reducing farming stress, also environmental conservation due to use of sustainable heat sources. The company started around three years ago, but the device started being used around two years ago so there was a phase where the device was just being tested and seeing how it's working seeing the lifespan and all, all these kinds of things so from then on we first classified our farmers we have a small scale farmer the person who's doing 100 to 500 chicks then you have the medium scale farmer who is doing a thousand to ten thousand and the large scale farmer is doing between ten thousand and above so who we are targeting is mainly the small and medium. But for the large scale farmer, we also provide them with solutions once they come to us. Solutions that work here in Kenya, that work here in Africa at affordable costs. So the main thing that farmers have been able to gain as a benefit, mainly is on, uh, first and foremost, it's just that peace of mind. The peace of mind that you don't have to be waking up anyhow, of the obvious you say it. To check on the chicks, to check, to check on the charcoal. You can sleep and you know if there's an issue, you'll be told. And once you set it up right to show you how to insulate, those issues, issues should be very minimal. We also, farmers are also able to experience benefits such as um, reduced um, deaths, that's one of the things, especially if you're able to maintain the right conditions. And also, farmers are able to um, get a slight savings in feed. And in as much as we say there are slight savings, Feed is the most expensive cost in poultry production. So even if you're just saving, let's say, 2-3k per batch, um, or 
depending on the size, let's say doing 100 or 200 birds, that will add up later on to your profit margins. So the whole idea of this, to the farmer, the farmer doesn't care about anything else. It's basically the profits. So he's able to get slightly higher margins, profit margins that is. The journey has had its fair share of challenges as George narrates. So in terms of uptake, this being a new technology, one of the main challenges has been that farmers don't really know such systems exist. So if I'm saying a system costs 500,000 bob, 150,000 shillings elsewhere in the world, they most likely won't be marketing or trying to convince the smallholder farmer or medium holder farmer to actually buy it. So you find that one of the biggest challenges we've had is um, the education. We're just, you go to a show, the farmer sees it, and it's first like, eh, the kumbi, there are such things that exist. First and foremost, they're amazed. Then they are like, eh, they're a bit skeptical. So there's that hurdle of being able to convince the farmer. And with this being a new technology, technologies are, um, they start off being expensive. They'll be expensive, but for those who actually take the first step and become the earlier people to adapt them, they're going to experience the most benefits. Since by the time the others are coming in, these guys have already been able to make a few extra coins from it. So those are some of the challenges. And um, so we have like around 30 customers and around 60 users. So customers means the person who's actually paid for it. So the users are the people who have um, someone which have paid on their behalf and then they take it. So if you're working, let's say the circle, one circle will come and maybe take for five people or something of the sort. So that's their whole idea. So almost six people, and uh, you have maybe larger farms have um, multiple users to such things. We are going to take a short break now, but when we come back, we will hear from a farmer who has experienced quite the roller coaster ride in his poultry farming venture.